Hey guys, so the new update is out and this video will quite simply explain to you everything you need to know about it. From where to find our new friend, Pascal, to Pirate Gulliver, to the new items that you can obtain from the update. I will also show you how you can find pearls that are needed for the DIYs. These are rare pearls found in the ocean that there's been a lot of confusion about. In addition, I will also be sharing some important things to keep in mind that can protect you from unpleasant times. So let's begin with the Mermaid DIYs. Here's a list of them all, which I find so beautiful with the gradient colors. And then we've got the swimming gears that are catalogable. You can find yours in um, Nook Shopping from the ATM or even Nook's Cranny. Everyone gets a different one, so if you see someone else with one that you want, you can catalog it. Here we've got the list of stuff you can get from Pirate Gulliver. And now what we're going to do is go for a swim. So you can only go for a swim if you have your wetsuit on, so just be sure, just be sure to have that on. Snorkel and wet shoes are optional. All you have to do is run towards the ocean, press A to enter, and there you go, you're in there. And just use the same directional controls to navigate around. You can also press A in the ocean to swim faster. And what I've just done is dive into the ocean by clicking Y. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, catching sea creatures are rather easy as all you have to do is dive where the bubbles are and click Y once. So here I've done that. And this is what I've caught. The only thing is that some sea creatures do require a little bit of a chase. This is me chasing a lobster. The snow crab also was quite a pain in my neck. So yeah, you just got to keep trying. It's a matter of time before you figure it out. <laughs> and here we go. Finally. So what you can do with the sea creatures is either donate it to Blathers or sell it. Um, they do offer quite a good price at Nookies. Um, unfortunately, you cannot sell it to CJ, but again, Timmy and Tommy do offer quite a decent price. And here we go. Pascal. Now that you've known all about swimming, Pascal is a friendly otter who's also a scallop fiend who will appear at random when you have caught a scallop. He will only appear once a day with a DIY and sometimes a pearl for you, but doesn't always appear at your first scallop of the day, so don't be too, too, you know, too disappointed if you don't see him. Just keep trying. This is maybe my first encounter with him so I was pretty lucky he's so cute <laughs> so yeah this is a new day on well, my first scallop he's nowhere to be seen so it happens don't worry just keep trying This is me trying to engage with him further, but unfortunately, that's not possible. <laughs> but you can try. And now to the pearls. There's been a lot of confusion about getting pearls from pearl oysters, which is this, um, which you can find at quite early stages of swimming in the ocean. That, however, is not the case. Pearls are found by themselves in the ocean. They appear a lot less than the other sea creatures, so keep a lookout for the smaller shadows and don't give up. And you will go through a lot of this while you're trying to look for a pearl, but enjoy the process. You know, you do have some really cute sea creatures swimming around, so... And some of them look really pretty on display. These ones are the night ones. You do have different ones you can catch at night time. And lastly, um, to avoid people roaming around your island undesirably, there are certain rules you will now have to make before you open your gates up. 
As visitors will now be able to swim towards the other parts of your island, right from your airport pier. So yes, as long as they have a wetsuit with them, they will be able to swim from one part of your island to another. This means that as a safety measure, if you if people roaming around your island makes you feel unhappy, you want to make sure they're not coming with the wetsuit or that you block access to nukes to prevent them from getting one. And yeah, if something like that happens, you can always end your session by closing the game. So if someone shows up in a wetsuit and that makes you feel uncomfortable, end the game, close the session. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this short video gives you some confidence with the new update amidst the chaos of all the talk about it. Um, please feel free to comment if you have any questions. I do have all the colors of all the swimming gears as well. So if you would like to catalog it, please feel free. Um, sorry, feel free to comment. I can hit, hit you up and I'm happy to give them to you. And yeah, that's it really. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos as well. I will be uploading more. Thanks. Bye.